If you are looking forward to one of the most smooth custom homes so far based on the latest Android version which is Android 14 while making this video, while making this one, we have this Statics OS. I made a short video on this one some days ago that it's updated to the Android 14 version. Uh, in all the previous versions and so as in this version, this custom home does not bring you any kind of major customizations or etc. Even some useful options are not present there, but it's good enough. In the terms of smoothness, it's just just super cool i tried i used it for more than 24 hours or even i guess it's almost two or three days almost i have i'm using this one and it's super smooth no lags no issues nothing at all i'm not talking about device specific things here but still it's good enough because i tried on two devices so far in mi 11x and in poco f5 and both of the devices i got great response this was so smooth all the time we have Pixel Launcher pre-installed as expectedly and as I just mentioned at the starting of the video, this custom home does not bring you any major customization. So we are not going to talk about much about this customization. It is having all the Pixel kind of goodies, especially if you are using a Google Apps version. So we have Pixel Launcher pre-installed. We have the dark quick settings panel. Doesn't matter if you use a dark mode, if you use a light mode, you will still get the dark quick settings panel. Same like the stock Android, which you have in Pixel devices. Moving into the settings UI, it is not giving you any kind of customized settings UI like box style or card style layout or the latest modded settings UI. It's almost same here like some other stock Android things like Pixel devices and we don't have any customization so we do not have any kind of useful things available too. One thing which is present here is the cloned apps. It's present here, although it is not allowing you to clone any app. We have the app available, for example, WhatsApp. Only few of the apps are supported, at least while making this one. Maybe with the upcoming version, things might be changed in your case. But in this case, this is the one. And if you want to unlock all the apps which can clone, you can install the Pixel Expert Magisk module for that. We also have the option for Pixel Imprint, which is basically a fingerprint unlock, although face unlock is not present there. In my personal opinion, I think this is good because even in Lineage OS custom home, you don't have the face unlock available because face unlock is less secure as compared to fingerprint or as compared to any other lock available there. But we have some useful gesture like swipe to screenshot, which is actually so useful, but else things are basically same. So we don't have any much things to talk about this case. But yes, if you want to use this custom home on a daily basis, you can route your device through kernel SU, etc. Or you can customize some widgets here on the home screen like i am using right now i'm using some custom widgets here this is not the kwgt by the way this is from the pix material U icon pack which is available on the google play store i i often talk about this icon pack because the icon pack is good also the widgets the widgets are super cool a lot of widgets are pre-included and yes if you root your device you can also install some mods and you can install some interesting modules to enable some features or etc so this was all from today's short and simple video hope you like this We'll see you in the next one.